Hi Art, here we have a 2014 Yamaha, sorry, we're used to selling a lot of Yamaha. This one is a Honda CBR125 2014. Very nice bike, it is HPI clear, uh, so it's never been taken through the insurance. But it had few drops, which I will mention the scratches and if there are any cracks. Uh, starting from the back, it's got a nice uh, 4D number plate. These number plates, I don't know if the camera can pick them, they pop out, very nice. I think it is still legal, the size of it is very nice and they're not very uh, high off a uh, 4D number plate, so they don't stick out too much. So it is legal in my uh, opinion. Uh, all the lights work, everything is standard on this bike, including the exhaust, uh, no upgrades, completely standard bike, is done under 10,000 miles, which is pretty, in law for these we've sold ones with 50,000 uh, the last one we sold and it was running absolutely min no issues I'll mention all the uh, good points on the bike and then move on to the bad points which is the scratches and if there is any marks that I'll see on it uh, we've got the back tire it's not brand new but it's road legal and it's good to do go for uh, a thousand miles at least good uh, brake pads on the back from what I could see very nice back, there's no scratches or marks here, completely standard, standard exhaust. Again, this is uh, clean, there are marks, but there are massive marks. The levers are standard, they, they're not bent. Good front tire, it's legal and it's got plenty of life on it. The fork seems clean. Looking at this lever, it's straight, it's not bent. Some of the bikes they come in, they ha it had a little tilt on it. As soon as it drops, this is the first bit that takes the hit. Uh, this one is okay. This is clean and it's not bent. You've still got the pillion seat and you've got the pillion pegs at the back. They haven't been removed. Again, these bikes come to us with these removed just to give it that bigger uh, look than a 125. Completely standard bike, under 10,000 miles. It starts on the button, rides good. Previous owner sold it to us to upgrade for a 600. And uh, this came to uh, its end of use for him. Moving on to the bad points, uh, bear in mind these are cheaper to insure uh, than the R125. So if you want to compare them to the R125, I think these are will be a lot cheaper on the insurance. So it's good, ready to ride away and they are slightly easier to ride than the R125. Uh, the only downfall, they're a little bit slower than the R125. I think you, you sacrifice it about four to five miles, uh, which is really not a big deal. Uh, but they're a lot more reliable, easier to ride, and they look good as well. Coming to the bad points, of course, the chain and sprocket seem okay. Uh, sorry, I keep on finding good stuff to mention. The chain and sprocket seems okay. Um, it, it's, it's got plenty of life on it, so it's good to go. Coming to the bad points, you've got scratches on here, which they paint it to style it out. Uh, there are a few marks here, scratches. Again, you've got a few marks here. And a mark here, I think I've, I've, I've included in the picture. They've got a slight mark here. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. The biggest mark and the damage on the bike is on this one here. Uh, I don't know if you see a little gap here. It's secure, it's safe. The previous owner was riding it as it is, so you don't need to do anything to it. And there are marks here. I've taken a close-up picture to show you, just in case the camera can't pick it up. You've got a graze in here, few marks here and this one it had a bigger washer because it, the the holder under it is broken bit of the panel is is broken they put a bigger washer to hold it better and it does the job fine um, other than that i'm looking to see if i can find you any marks or scratches um, it's got mot it will be listed on the ad on how long the mot is but it has mot and it's ready to right away this is fine, this is good. I've tested the lights working, high beam, low beam working, and you've seen all these lights work here. Uh, you've also seen the indicators working. It's got the standard mirrors. A lot of people remove the mirrors on these. By law, you don't need them, but as a new rider, I recommend having new mirrors to ride on. And also, please remember, if you're a learner, to put an L plate at the front and at the back. It's three points for each L plate uh, missing. Bike is ready, we top up the oil for you, make sure that the oil on the level before sending it off. Uh, give it 500 miles, check the oil, they, they, these bikes they do uh, run out of oil uh, pretty quick. So check the oil 500 miles and replace the oil every 1000 miles. It doesn't cost much but it makes the engine fresh and it will last forever with you.
Other than that, bike is good, ready. You've heard the engine running for the past minute. There are no more, no uh, ticks or bangs coming out of the engine. Usually we mention them and it's ready to ride away. Thank you very much. That'll be it for the CBR125.